I don't know because I felt like I was going to fall on my face. So I already planned in case I was going to fall, I would just do like a little twirl and roll and make it a dance move. But thankfully I didn't fall. And obviously the confidence comes from the outfit you're wearing. And I'm wearing a beautiful lehenga from Nita Ma'am, Nita Lulu Ma'am. And she's done a fabulous job on this design. Um, I feel like sometimes you just wear an outfit and you just feel very beautiful and very confident. And this is what her lehenga does. Um, and I'm just very happy to be here today and I'm very honored that Nita Ma'am has called me to be her showstopper and it's an achievement today for me. Um, to be able to showcase a concept, to be able to showcase something that talks a language, I think in today's day and age is very important. Uh, for me, this show was a concept about millennial women, women power, women who not only study, have, are uh, married women, but they work, they put together fantastic concepts of uh, the new age entrepreneurship and that is what today's millennial power is all about. Um, Bombay Times has put together a unique concept for the curtain raiser that was done here at Island City Center today, which is a fantastic location, um, very well put together. The synergy of millennial power works so wonderfully well over here because this is all about millennial better living and what better than to be a part of this and then what better to have a, such a fantastic showstopper like Nora Fadehi who's, who's fabulous and she herself is a multitasker. Apart from being an actor, she's a dancer, she's, she's her own, she has her own production house and uh, she does so many things in a day. Her day must, is absolutely jam-packed and yet by evening she's all here looking so fantastic for me. Thank so you. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a salutation to such power and I think to be able to speak this language for me, I'm blessed. So it was a, it's a beautiful evening and, and having the concept of a millennium woman. Today's woman who just doesn't walk around but multitasking like her. Like Nita Ma'am always, and I've always seen her designs, the way she, you know, it's not only about fashion, there's an idea behind it. What that inspires us. It's just not plain fashion, but a woman power which walked on the ramp. She didn't only take only the glamorous looking ladies, but she also added success with those. Success that walked the ramp today. That's all about the today's evening walk. And at Island City Center, Bombay Reality, we are proud to associate with, with Ma'am, with Noura, such a talented ladies who were there today with us. Thanks a lot. Thanks for being a part of us. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Um, well, honestly, with fashion, I think the most important thing is to stay true to yourself. There are some people who like to dress according to their personalities, and I think that's the most important thing. If you are someone who's quirky and out of the box and you dress like that, that's what makes you feel like yourself and happy. I feel like that should be encouraged. Um, and, but for me personally, I like loud, blingy stuff. I'm very fashionable in that sense. Um, and sometimes I can switch my mood and, and like to wear sporty things. So I'm a little bit bipolar when it comes to fashion. <laughs> Well, I hope it really
faces like today. I'm looking forward. I'm so impatient. It's one of the most, um, you know, or oh, how can I say? It? I get so emotional when I talk about street dancer because when I was a young girl, I watched a film called. Um, you Got Served, which is an American uh, dance film. And I was very young, I think I was 10 years old when I watched that film. And I remember looking at that film and thinking, one day I want to be a part of a dance film as an actor and as a dancer. And it, like, it, it's coming true, so it's a very surreal feeling. And I can't wait for the whole nation to watch it. Last one, this is... Um, yeah, I just released my single called Pepeta, which I sang and produced. It's my international singing debut, and I launched it in my very own YouTube channel, so I'm very proud of that. It's something that is, um, and it's an independent project. It's something that uh, I feel should be celebrated as a woman being able to put a project together like that. Um, it just encourages girls out there and women out there to follow their dreams. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you Nora.